What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about ceilings and actually we're going to be approaching modern ceiling design. I found this image online, it's a really cool ceiling design. Uh, I, it can be incorporated into a corridor or a walkway, something like that. It, it looks very complicated but actually I found a very reasonably quick way of uh, recreating something like that in Revit. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in today's video. We're actually going to be creating the, the, the ceiling out of three layers uh, to achieve the effect. And then in the end, I'm going to be inserting some lights into that ceiling. Now, before we get into that uh, video, I'd just like to ask you to like and share this video. It helps me out a lot. And also make sure to subscribe. Uh, I make useful Revit tutorials each week. And also, I have many courses on my website, balkanarctic.com. That's going to be the first link just below the video. So check it out if you're interested. I have a complete beginner to intermediate level course. It's an 18 hour course. It has everything that you need. And then also I have uh, advanced courses that cover numerous advanced Revit topics. So if you're into that, check it out. Also, if you would like to download this uh, ceiling project file or any of my other Revit project files, all of those are available on my Patreon page. That's going to be the second link just below the video. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So for this, I'm just going to go straight into models, uh, then go to new. And for the template file, I'm just going to be using my own personal template, the Balkan Architect template, the metric version. Now, if you're interested in this template or my other template, both the metric and imperial versions, both of them are available on my website. So check it out if you're interested for a ready to go architecture template. Anyways, let's just click OK. And that's going to start a new project. Uh, now, this being a project where we're going to be working on this uh, particular ceiling design, it does look like it's uh, meant to be used for some type of a, a hallway long corridor and then it just follows the length of that corridor. So that's exactly what we're going to be trying to recreate here in Revit. So what I'm going to be doing is going here straight into the wall tool and then yeah, let's just use the generic 400 millimeter wall and uh, let's uh, make sure that the base constraint is at level one, that the top constraint can be at level two and let's create that long corridor. Maybe the, the, the width can be something like uh, 3.6 meters. Yeah, I think that's, that's quite all right. Maybe make it an even three meters and maybe we can make it just a little bit shorter. There we go. And I like to kind of center it here. Okay, perfect. Okay, so once we have this whole uh, wall created, uh, I'm just going to go here in the floor tool and then uh, just add that floor here. And then uh, let's go to the ceiling plan and that's where all of the magic is going to be happening. So you want to go here to ceiling plans and then go to ceiling plan number one. So basically ceiling plans work. If you're working for a first floor ceiling, you want to go to the uh, well, ceiling for the first floor, even though that is kind of up on the, uh, on, the on this on the bottom of the second floor. Yeah, you want to go to that uh, first level floor plan and you're basically looking from the bottom up. OK, so once we're here at the at the ceiling level, uh, let's start creating our ceiling. So this particular ceiling is going to be created out of three parts. So we need one flat ceiling on top. Then we have to have that uh, wooden element, uh, that uh, kind of a wooden louver looking uh, element. And uh, then after that, we have the, kind of the bottom uh, artsy looking uh, ceiling. So uh, let's then go straight straight into the ceiling tool and we have the automatic ceiling and that's exactly what we're going to be using uh, at first. So let's set the height offset at 3.2 meters for the top one at apply. Just click once and there we go. We're just using the basic generic ceiling. That's why it doesn't have really anything here. If I hit the escape key a couple of times and then use the tab key to select that ceiling, there we go. So this is our ceiling. It's clearly visible, but it doesn't have a grid. If we were using something like this, it would add a grid, but I don't think that's necessary for, for this type of a ceiling. Okay, so once we have our first ceiling in place, then let's create the second 
ceiling or the, the, the middle one. Uh, now for that we can't really use the ceiling tool because it doesn't allow us to create any complex uh, geometry such as uh, this repeating wooden element. Now what we can use on the other hand to get the same uh, effect is uh, going to be a roof not just any type of roof but we actually want to use uh, here if i go to roof by footprint let's set it to level two and then here i want to use sloped glazing uh, now for this sloped glazing we can just leave it like that and then what you want to do is uh, go here to rectangle place a simple rectangle like that inside of these walls hit the escape key a couple of times and then let's select all of these lines and you can see that here we have this little triangle indicating that that the, that side defines the slope and if I just uncheck define slope over here on the uh, modify uh, here ribbon uh, you can see that now uh, neither of these sides uh, define the slope then and th this is basically going to be a flat roof in this case for now. So uh, let's now switch to the 3D view just to see what we have. As you can see this is that uh, glass ceiling that we have on top so it's just transparent and pretty basic pretty straightforward. So what we want to do with this now is go here into edit type and now here we have to make some changes. Let's just make this a little smaller. Okay, perfect. I, I usually like to see the kind of the, 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 the building and then here we can see everything. So first for the curtain panel, uh, I want to use the uh, system panel uh, empty. So empty system panel basically means that we don't really have any system panel or that we don't really have glass in place. Uh, next we have the joint condition. Uh, we can just leave that at not defined for now. Uh, next for grid one, uh, let's switch that to a, uh, let's use maximum spacing and then let's go with 0.2 meters. I think that would be perfect. And then here for the grid one mullions, uh, let's go to the interior side and let's use the let's see what we have let's use the rectangular mullion the 150 uh, the 50 by 150 millimeter so basically we have one grid one mullion and uh, the spacing is up to uh, 20 centimeters so if i just hit apply and okay, that's going to look like this. Uh, now, obviously this is uh, in going in the wrong direction. So what we want to do is just switch this from grid one to grid two. So here, I'm just going to switch this to none and then this one to maximum spacing, 0.2. And then also uh, here for grid two, switch this to 150, hit apply. Let's wait for a second for Revit just to calculate everything. We're going to have a lot of these mullions. That's why it takes so long. Come on. Okay. Let's delete the grid line. And there we go. Perfect. Click OK. And this is exactly what we wanted to achieve. There we go. We have that a mullion exactly in place. Now, of course, this is above our ceiling and that's definitely not what we want to have. So uh, let's go back into level one. Uh, we can go to ceiling plan and let's create a quick section going through our corridor. Open that section up and then we can select our sloped glazing and we can just uh, either give it an offset or move it. I prefer using the offset and let's just measure here uh, and make sure to switch this to fine level of detail. There we go. And this ceiling, it can be plain ceiling. Perfect. Okay. So uh, now I just like to measure from uh, basically from here to here. So that's uh, 475, so 0.475. And then you select your sloped glazing, minus uh, 0 0.475, and there we go. Looks perfect. It's flush with that ceiling. Uh, now if we go back to the 3D view, uh, and let's just select this to make it transparent. There we go. We have that, uh, we have that uh, kind of a wooden louver style uh, ceiling. Okay, finally, it's time for our last ceiling, our kind of interesting looking ceiling. And to just figure out the height of that ceiling, uh, let's see this, uh, this plane ceiling, let's maybe turn on the thin lines. Perfect. So uh, the plane ceiling is uh, 0.06, I guess you can say. And then the height of this thing, if I measure from here to here, 
it's okay so we can make the plane ceiling be at uh, point, uh, two point 95 or something like that okay perfect uh, let's go now back to our ceiling plan uh, here as you can see now we can see that louver a uh, louver system or uh, wooden uh, horizontal elements and now let's go again to ceiling uh, choose the plain ceiling I think that one is the best and let's now go to sketch ceiling uh, you want to go with a rectangle first, make a complete rectangle all around, uh, then give it an offset of maybe point, uh, hmm, let's go with point uh, three. Perfect. Do the same thing, but in this case, hit the space key to flip it to the other side. Perfect. Now you want to go to the line and just make sure uh, here when you select the line for the draw tool to get rid of that offset by setting it to zero. And then let's go from this corner and then just follow 135 degrees. And that means that here we have a perfect square. Uh, now we have to offset that square so we can just copy that up by 0.3 meters. Perfect. We can just uh, uh, now uh, offset this one. So for, for this one that we have here, uh, I want to use the pick lines and then give it the 0.15, which is going to allow you, if I just zoom in, to do this. Perfect. That's what we want to have. Okay, now we can delete the middle one. There we go. And let's just uh, now I want to just mirror this to the other side. Now, if you don't know uh, how to mirror it, I, I suggest you go with a simple line like this and just go here from center to center. That, that gives you kind of the center point of between these two lines. So now if you just select this and perhaps this and you go to mirror uh, with the draw access, you can go from the midpoint horizontally and it's just going to mirror to the other side. And that's exactly what we want to have here. Uh, and of course, it makes sense to oops uh, to give it an offset of 0.3 here and so on. Uh, so I, I suggest first you fix this up. So uh, that's done simply by uh, actually want to fill it these. So let's go to split element, split it here and there. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then you want to go here to fill it arc. We'll give it a radius of something like, I don't know, 0.2 and let's try it now okay this might be a bit too steep let's try 0.1 uh, yeah I, I I really like this okay let's try then the radius so you go here to fill it arc and then for radius make sure to check it on and give it 0.1 uh, now in this case perfect there we go I really like this aesthetic now and then you want to repeat that here. Uh, now, don't worry, you don't have to go all the way to the other side. Uh, what you can do, well, let's unjoin that. Oops, fill it. Oops. <laughs> uh, whenever you go back to fill it, you have to check radius again. Unjoin, fill it, radius. Perfect. Okay, so once we have one of these segments in place. Uh, now what you can do is let's again place that line here in the middle, select the whole thing now like this. Actually, we can delete this side. Yeah. Okay. Select the whole thing like that. Go to mirror, draw access, go to the midpoint, pull it out horizontally, Perfect. And uh, from now on, you can simply copy this. So you select it like this, you go to copy, you go to multiple, you pick a point here, and then you just go all the way to the other side. Okay, so we have kind of stopped here, which is okay. So let's just pull this in, uh, make sure it's 0.3, perfect. And then, yeah, for the height, uh, we have to set the height offset. And that, as I said, it was 2.95. And then we'll double check that later on. So let's stop it here. And now uh, we can select the rest of these ceilings. So just hit the tab key to select the whole ceiling, pull in the footprint. Perfect. Then the, this one, I'm just using the tab key to toggle selection. There we go. There's the ceiling. Pull that one in as well. 
and then we can just pull this wall in. Perfect. Oops, I messed this up. So let's uh, reset that boundary. Perfect. Okay, there we go. So now if I just select this, there we go, there's our ceiling. So uh, let's go back into level one and I just wanted to add a some sort of a light here. So I'm just dragging over a cool light family that they have actually created a while back. And let me place that here, perhaps here. So just want to go all the way around, placing it in all of these cool little corners, just adding some lights. There we go. And you can actually go in here and place lights in between these uh, louvers, which looks really cool as well. But for now, let's just leave it like this. And there we go. We have those lights. Uh, we can uh, go perhaps just here into uh, level one, uh, go to the default 3D view, open up the drop menu, add the camera, and let's just create a view like this just to see what we have created. Perfect. I really like this look. I, I'm quite happy with the design. And yeah, please tell me in the in the comments below, what do you think? Do you, do you like the way this looks? I think it looks really, really cool. Especially perhaps if we bring in some shadows here. Okay, let's go to lighting. Yeah, I think this looks really cool. So there you go. That's how you can create this type of a ceiling design. And of course, if you decide to render this, I'm sure it will look real, uh, even cooler. Okay, like this, it looks uh, a little bit better. And perhaps if we get rid of the, the wall, let's try that. That looks a bit nicer. So there you go. That's how you create these uh, cool looking modern complex ceilings that actually have three types of ceilings uh, together, kind of combined into one amazing ceiling. Uh, there we go. So that was it for this quick tutorial. If you want to download the project files for this tutorial, check out my Patreon page. That's going to be the second link in the description. And if you're interested in more in-depth, longer courses where it takes several hours to go in-depth uh, either into a beginner, uh, intermediate or even advanced uh, topics in Revit, check out my website, balkanarchitect.com. That's going to be the first link in the description. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video, and I'll be back with another Balkan Arctic tutorial in a few days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.